Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. We're just going to play some normal Super Mario Odyssey on my completely normal Switch with a completely normal number of applications installed. Everything is normal. Let's just start the game. <laughs> We've all seen this opening cutscene, so I will skip over it as soon as I'm able to. If I were a speedrunner, I would have gone faster. <laughs> hey, Cappy. Yeah, things aren't quite normal. Um, I don't know why I'm being coy about this. Obviously the title of the video will tell you what I'm doing, but this is not my normal Switch. Uh, this is my normal Switch. What we are on right now is a Switch that is capable of being hacked. Uh, I have set myself up with a Switch that I can hack. I have hacked it, and we are playing Super Mario Odyssey Superstar Mode. Uh, this is a ROM hack created by Skellux. Uh, I believe that's Skellux's avatar up there on the moon right now. Um, and yeah, basically it's just a hard mode of the game. So, things are different. For example, there are spinies here. I haven't been any further in the game yet, so I don't really know what to expect, but there are spinies at the start. <laughs> uh, hang on, I'm just gonna put up a little projector here so I can play the game without being distracted by my own face. Forgot to do that. There we go, let's go. All right, so this first part is more or less the same. The spinies can theoretically hurt you, but they don't pose much of a threat. Oh, there's a Goomba there too. Uh, in the normal game, there are no enemies at the beginning here, so. Uh, we'll skip this cutscene as well. There we go. I don't think any of the cutscenes have been changed, but I suppose I should keep an eye out just in case they have. Okay, so yeah, Mario has normal movement. Uh, all the little, like, tutorial messages are still here, which is interesting. Um, theoretically they could probably have been disabled in this hack, but they aren't. Uh, a bit of a look around here. There's some more Goombas hanging out down here. Looks like this is the same as normal. So far the only difference I'm seeing is that there's some Goombas you can capture right at the beginning. Um, and the Spinies, of course. And the Moon, of course. <laughs> but nothing major. Uh, does this still do the same thing? Let's find out. It does. So that's the same thing that happens normally. Uh, you get a regular um, one health heart there. Oh, hello. This is different. <laughs> um, so normally there would be a lever here, uh, which brings up a bridge that gets you over there. Instead we have a trio of these uh, rocket flowers. So this is the first uh, new challenge here. I believe what we have to do is use the boost from the flowers to jump all the way over there. So um, let's just... Get ourselves lined up. Yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> um, I think we maybe need like a cappy roll jump. I'm not sure if we can pull that off, but we can give it a try. Maybe a triple jump? I'll try a few different things. So yeah, that's the first um meaningful change, let's say. Uh, is that this is going on here. So let's just uh, get that Goomba out of the way. There we go. Oh, it's even worse. Okay, I think we, if we can pull off a triple jump, keeping the momentum, that would work. Um, or maybe a Cappy Roll jump. Thankfully you do respawn just back there, so it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, this is already starting to be a lot harder than uh, the base game, which of course is completely trivial at this part. You pretty much can't fail. Uh, you may remember one of my exploration videos. I tried to cross this this bridge uh, without flipping the switch. I believe it is impossible in normal play, uh, but if, you know, the game happens to give you a bunch of rocket flowers instead, it becomes possible. Oh no! I was trying to triple jump, but I didn't jump quickly enough and it launched me off the edge before I was ready, basically. Um, <laughs> uh, this may take a few attempts. <laughs> oh wow, I am very impressed with this change in difficulty already. Um, let me just 
I wonder if the Goomba's relevant. Like, instead of, like, killing the Goomba, maybe I'm supposed to use it somehow? I don't know how I would, though. Oh, that was real close. Hmm. I think you definitely need, like, a, like, a, a better jump. I don't know if you can triple jump using the rocket flowers. Let me just grab them and then go the other way so I can practice a little bit. Uh, rocket flowers do respawn, so if we just, uh, creep you and then go like this and then face this way. Okay, I don't seem to be able to triple- whoa, that's cold water. Okay. <laughs> the water is now painful. Don't go in the water. <laughs> um... Alright, so you can do a double jump, but not a triple jump, by the looks of things. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to hope that that's enough. Because I don't have a lot of other ideas. <laughs> I mean, maybe a Cappy Roll Jump, but I don't know if you can pull those off while using these. Let's find out. Okay, no, a Ground Pound interrupts them, but maybe... hmm... Okay, you can just sort of put Cappy out a holder in place, but if you're quick enough, you might be able to pull off a Cappy roll jump. Not really, not really a Cappy roll jump, you're not rolling, but like a Cappy roll jump, you keep the momentum and you bounce off of a Cappy. Um, basically you vault off of Cappy while using the rocket flowers is what I'm going for. Oh, uh, I think we can do it. Ow. <laughs> Let me just uh, get this stuff out of the way first. And again, that might be needed. Uh, I don't know why it would be, but... Oh god. That was quicker than I anticipated. Uh, let me just grab those. Okay, no, that wasn't that wasn't a vault off of Cappy. That was a mid-air bounce, so we didn't keep our bounce afterwards. I think if we throw her quickly enough, we should be able to do a vault before we've, zi we've actually zipped off the edge. I am really impressed at how much more difficult this already is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, I'm not an amazing speedrunner or anything, but I like to think I'm pretty good at this game. And this is already way harder uh, than pretty much anything in the base game. Granted, the base game's not that hard. <laughs> Nintendo don't really make hard platformers. Uh, they used to. Sometimes. Occasionally. Yeah, you need to throw Cappy, like, with pretty much perfect timing, I think. I think. I'm, I'm still not sure this is the right way to do it, um, but we'll find out, I guess. Uh, thankfully, once we get inside Top Hat Tower, that is another checkpoint, so we don't have to do any of this again once we pull it off once, but we haven't pulled it off once yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to throw Cappy like this, and head over here. Okay, no. No, if you throw her like that, you've, she's already gone off the edge uh, too far, and that counts as a bounce rather than a vault. And we need a vault, otherwise we won't have uh, enough momentum. I am very surprised <laughs> at the like, immediate boost in difficulty here. This is not something you ever had to do in the base game. Granted, again, like, Nintendo don't make the game super hard. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah! No! I think I had Cappy in about the right place, and then I, I just veered and didn't, didn't I manage to walk into her. Uh. Okay, up we go. Hello, little Goomba. Sorry. I don't know if I actually need more than one. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think this game has a death counter, but if it did, like, the numbers would be going super duper high. Let me think. Yeah, there's there's no death counter, Moon. There's, like, jump counter and capture counter and stuff like that. There's no death counter. It's kind of interesting because, like, 
other games that don't have lives often do have like a death count to give you an idea of like how many times you had to try. Like Celeste, for example, uh, has that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love how you're getting just the most basic tutorial on throwing Cappy as you stand there. <laughs> and you have to do this ridiculously difficult trick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't triple jump. Um, like, you can triple jump here. I mean, you can't triple jump once you have the rocket flowers, as far as I can tell. Why did I capture the Goomba? I don't know. Goodbye, Goomba. I don't think the Goomba can help us, but I could be mistaken. Ah! <laughs> oh, this may... Like, I was thinking, you know, I'll do I'll do Cap and maybe Cascade. Um, but, like, this is the very first challenge in the game, and it's already been ten minutes. So, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get in a half-hour playthrough. <laughs> like, I'm going to keep playing more. I'm going to do more episodes, but... I, I was expecting to get a little further in the first episode a little more quickly. I was just experimenting there with, like, triple jumping and stuff. You can double jump, you don't seem to be able to triple jump. Unless my timing is just real bad, which is possible, but, like, I'm having no trouble triple jumping in normal movement, so I don't think my timing would be off. I say as I bonk into a wall, illustrating that my timing is extremely off. Behind you. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. That was a vault. I vaulted with Cappy. And then I did a cap bounce, and it still wasn't far enough. I think maybe I need to like hold forward as well to get more momentum. <laughs> this, is, this is so much. This is ridiculous. Oh, jeez. I mean, I knew what I was getting into, but wow. A little bit further. It wasn't it! <laughs> okay, um, I may need to do like a rainbow spin or something to get a bit more bit more distance. Can I even do that? Maybe I'm supposed to grab them and like jump and then use the rockets after that? Oh, I don't even know. Like if I do a triple jump while Cappy is twirling around here, I can do a triple jump and then get the rockets in midair. Is that what I want to do? Well, that wasn't at all what I was trying to say, but... <laughs> My thinking is, you know, put Cappy on them, do a triple jump like this, and then get the rockets in midair at the top of your triple jump. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. I was just rubbish. <laughs> that was just straightforward. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> that happened because I was looking over at my OBS screen, basically at my own face. <laughs> so I need to actually focus on the game a little bit more. That might be a good idea. Uh, let's see. So we, we throw this and then we... No, we have to throw from a little bit closer. Maybe here where the boxes are? Hang on, hang on. What if we throw Cappy through these and then do a Cappy roll jump while she's got the rockets? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Ideas are happening. Ideas are happening here. So if we, if we throw Cappy that way in order to do a Cappy roll jump, then we will Cappy roll jump. When we get Cappy back, the rockets will be on on her. Ugh. I'm trying to explain things, but my hands are moving because that's how I talk. <laughs> and that's making me throw Cappy. <laughs> it's 
Jeez. <laughs> Grabbing the rockets and, and that's a problem. Oh, jeez. I am astonished that we are still here after 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, my thinking is Cappy roll jump from here-ish. Okay, my thinking was clearly wrong. That's not going to work. That's that's nowhere near as far. Uh, Alright, so... What is the strategy we have to use here in order to get enough distance? Is the Goomba relevant? Hmm. There aren't any Paragoombas around. There will be later, like when we revisit Cap Kingdom, there are Paragoombas and you can just use them to fly over. But they haven't spawned yet, so we can't use them. Um... What am I missing here? Yeah, that was never gonna work. What am I missing? What about boom boom? It is entirely possible that the first episode of this series is just gonna be me trying to solve the very first challenge in the, in the whole ROM hack, which will be amazing. <laughs> um, by the way, I did try to play this with like Yuzu and Rujinx, and I think those are the emulators that exist. Um, it's impressive that they work at all, but the frame rate was not really practical. Um, at least on my system, it might work better for people who's like who have like really good rigs or whatever, but not so much for mine. Turning these on make a difference? I'm guessing no, but can you imagine? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's so close. Okay, so that was just me jumping normally off the edge, then using a cap throw bounce, then using a rainbow spin before Cappy came back. Which is that. Which gives you a tiny little bit more distance. So maybe if I use like a rainbow spin in combination with like a vault? Hmm. Okay, that was a terrible vault. I had to throw crappy much earlier than that. <laughs> oh, wow. It is really impressive, like, how much this little change to the level has made it so much harder. Um, because if you think about this part in, in Odyssey proper, it's more or less identical. There's a couple more enemies around, but they're not really a big difference. The, the thing that's making it so much harder is just the fact that that one lever that makes the bridge show up is now these. <laughs> it's like like one object replacement and it's made this this little section incredibly difficult instead of trivial. <sighs> okay, let me see here. Okay, I threw Cappy too late. You have to throw her just as she comes back, basically. You have no time. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Because this is a different system and none of my save files are here, it didn't have things like camera sensitivity saved. Uh, I haven't connected this switch to the internet at all, by the way. You recommended not to do that when you're running on, like, the, the custom firmware, but I haven't connected it even on the normal firmware. Just, just to be safe. Literally all it has is just Odyssey on it. I think it's version 1.1 is the version that's actually on my card. Uh, version 1.3 is what I normally play because that's the most recent. Uh, so it's a little bit different. I tried to rainbow spin, but it didn't happen for some reason, and that, like, threw me off. I 
must, I must have just timed it wrong. Again, I threw Cappy way, way too late there. I wonder if it's possible to get in a double jump rather than a single jump. Because that would also give me a lot more height to work with. And I don't think double jumps are based, like, in Mario 64, uh, the height of a double jump is based on your speed. I think in this game it's, like, consistently the same height regardless of your speed. As you can see, those two are exactly the same. For example. I'm thinking I need to throw Cappy later. Uh, because throwing Cappy, like, cancels your momentum. So, if we can just, like, keep going without throwing her for as long as possible, uh, we may be able to preserve our horizontal momentum and get further. Because, um, because of the cap return jump, I had too much height right there, and I, I got thrown off. Uh, the cap return jump being this one, where you go, like, a little bit higher than normal because Cappy just returned to you and you do a little, little twirl. I think I've talked about that in my previous experiment videos. Um, you use it to do, like, a first moon skip, for example. Okay, that was interesting. If you jump and get the rockets in mid-air, you don't immediately get any momentum out of them. I wonder if I can use that to, like, line myself up a little bit better. Because I can, to some extent, control when I get the rockets, because you can let go of the Y button and have Cappy fly back to you, more or less, when you want. Uh, eventually she comes back on her own, but... I kind of wish this restart just a tiny bit faster. I wonder if that Goomba is there to give you a coin to make the restarts a little bit slower, just because of the blub 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 thing. That would be real cruel. <laughs> I mean, you can get rid of the Goomba like this and not get a coin. Oops. <laughs> you, you can drop the Goomba off the edge without actually getting a coin out of it. I just didn't do it right. Yeah, like, you saw that when I was in mid-air, the rockets didn't really kick in until I hit the ground again. Maybe they don't give me momentum in mid-air at all? Which would be real weird, but... Uh, like, that would explain why, like, using them almost entirely in mid-air isn't working so well for me. I'd build up the speed on the ground first as much as you can. Hey, little Goomba. I'm just gonna drop you over there, just so you're out of the way. I can't even see where I landed, but I think that was really close. So what I did there, like you were watching obviously, but yeah, uh, we jump as the rockets come to us, so that they don't immediately activate, then we run along the ground as far as we can, then we jump, uh, using the momentum from the rockets to travel as far as we can. Okay. Okay, that... I jumped slightly too late, so um, it did the cap return jump with the rockets instead, which was just like the opposite of what I wanted, basically. I think we may actually spend the entire half hour video of me figuring out this one puzzle. <laughs> Did not expect that at all. 
Oh my goodness gracious. I'm having fun though. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I, I tried to do the Rainbow 12 more distance and it didn't happen. I, I think, I think the rockets may be giving you a momentum only on the ground. Uh, which means that what you have to do is run on the ground as much as possible. Uh, which means you have to start way back here, cancel the initial bit of momentum, then run with them. I think. Oh, uh. There's like a lower ledge there, which you can potentially land on. I think that may have been added, actually. I don't think that's in the base game. Uh, clearly you're supposed to land on that um, at the end of your rocket jump. Uh, if you can pull it off. Yeah, that ledge down there, I think that may have been added. I can't remember. I haven't actually played regular Odyssey in quite a while, but I don't recall whether that was there or not. And normally you wouldn't notice because there's a bridge that covers it anyway. Okay, let's see here. Nope. That was the wrong... <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we are respawning a tiny bit faster because I'm avoiding getting that coin. I don't know how much time it's actually saving because um, the effort of, you know, moving the Goomba out of the way instead of getting the coin out takes time too, so I don't know. Uh, I tried to do another Rainbow Twirl and it didn't happen. <sighs> I'm not sure if you're actually faster if you jump when you first get the rockets or not. If I had more, like, space to run along, I could maybe build up more momentum, but I don't think I... Hang on. Are these crates normally here? I think they are, but I just want to check just in case something suspicious is happening. Okay, there's like weird coin behavior, but apart from that, this looks normal. Hmm. Might as well bop the Goomba now since I've got coins anyway. Okay. Let's have a little think. Yeah, it looks like when you're in mid-air, the rockets on your back aren't giving you any boost, which is interesting. Uh... Wonder... What you want to do is throw Cappy like this, get as far away as you can. Hmm... Well, like, if I could triple jump or something, that would help a lot, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can actually get that much momentum. And getting the rockets in mid-air won't help at all because of the way they seem to work, which is they only boost you when you're on the ground. Uh, I suppose if you... That does not give you any coins, by the way. <laughs> if you just chuck them off the edge like that. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah, let's think again about this vaulting idea, because you get the momentum on the ground. Okay, no. That wasn't a vault, though. I didn't throw Cappy far enough. I kind of wish the checkpoint were a little closer. Like, I understand why it's in the same place it normally is, but... Which Nintendo, like, Nintendo's, you know tutorial thing is like, how the hell is it taking her so long to do this? <laughs> Oops. Now that's interesting. You hang off the ledge, you actually sort of pause the whole rocket process. 
wonder if that can be useful. I mean, I hang, I hang off the ledge by accident, but it's interesting that it works that way. Goodbye. Okay, let me just try it again on purpose and see what happens. Oh, that's so close! Okay, that with a rainbow spin. That with a rainbow spin. I think I have it. Because grab I think because grabbing the ledge puts you as far back on the platform as possible. Uh, and then you can just use the rockets from there without any, like, setup phase, because they're already in full boost. You get as much momentum as possible. That's my guess, anyway. <sighs> I'm guessing it doesn't matter if you get all three of them or not. Because you're not going very far anyway, and essentially that's all they- all getting more rockets does. It lasts longer. Uh... I'm having trouble actually getting onto the ledge now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, how we do- Whoa, we're, we're, we're past 30 minutes already, and I think I've only just figured it out. Okay, that with a spin. Let's try it again. Rainbow Twirl. Rainbow Twirl. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to keep going until I solve the first puzzle in the hack. <laughs> Oh, jeez, it, it ramped things up faster than I anticipated. <laughs> okay, uh, so we throw... Uh, bump, bump Mario into the wall here, there we go. Uh, the flowers respawn instantly, so it's no big deal if we, you know, lose... You, the, you use one up before we intend. Ah! Okay, okay. <laughs> I was pressing the B button, you're about supposed to rainbow spin, but it wasn't doing it. Hey, Gokunba. Yeah, you just go over there while I do this. <sighs> Maybe you can't. I, I, the way the way rainbow spins work is very confusing. Sometimes they work, and sometimes they just don't. I don't understand what makes it happen. Honestly. <sighs> I feel like I'm really, really close with this strat, though. I have no idea if this is the intended way. <laughs> Feels like it probably isn't, but I don't know what the intended way is. Unless this sign tells you what to do, which would be really funny. No, no, it's just, it's just the normal text. I am using a capture and hold, so I don't know if that's, like, relevant. Maybe it is. Mm, it looks closer than it is because of the fog. <sighs> Maybe I need to let myself fall a little bit further before I use up my, my horizontal momentum. Uh, I also might need to vector myself a little bit more. Um, in this game, if you're moving, like, sideways, you go faster than if you're moving directly where you want to go, which is weird. Um... Oh my god, I made it! Oh gosh. Okay, so there's a big Goomba here too. Uh, let's just uh, get to where the next checkpoint presumably is, which would be inside Top Hat Tower, and then I'm gonna call that a video. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard. Hang on, I'll take out this guy. 
just want to see what this is. Yeah, that's just a regular heart as well. Uh, we head inside. Oh no. Oh no, there's no frog. Oh, you have to do the frog skip. Oh. You may remember that was my first Odyssey experiment video. It took me quite some time to figure out how to do a frog skip. Actually, it might be easier here because of these this Goomba pile? Maybe? Uh, no. No, it isn't. It is not e it's not easier than it is in the base game because of the Goomba pile. Because the Goomba pile only gets you to here, and this is where you need to be to do the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do this next time. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me bashing my head against the same puzzle for over a half hour. <laughs> next time we're going to do a puzzle I've done before that probably will still take me a while. And then we'll progress through the rest of Top Hat Tower. And eventually, we will get to the parts of the game that aren't the Cap Kingdom, hopefully. <laughs> thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!